Art of Transition podcast with Dr. Erica Jones, MD. Dr. Erica Jones with the Art of Transition podcast. Thank you for being here. We are doing something super special today. We are on location live at the Black Pod Festival. I got a special guest that is also a speaker. Y'all know I'm a speaker. I am speaking on self care for podcasters on a Sunday. So there's two days of the festival and this gentleman right here just got finished speaking. I got so many gems from him. Tell the people who you are, what you do. Oh, thank you so much for having me on your platform. My name is Andrew Snorton. Um, under my business umbrella, Creative Community Solutions, I have an education-based services. So still work with students, virtual tutoring, in-person tutoring, ACT and SAT prep. On the press and media end, as you're aware, you are an awesome guest on my show. I have a show it with Status a Network called The Conversation Corner, which we air every second and fourth Wednesday at 7 Kinda, p.m. This man said he has a show on a network, y'all. <laughs> uh, well, we, <laughs> Let's we, not gloss over that. Well, no, I mean, we all do. Everyone, like everybody is here, you're doing great work with your podcast and Thank the people you. that you're reaching and the narratives that you're able to capture. And that's what we're supposed to do with, like I tell anybody in any interview, it's not necessarily the size of your platform. It's to understand that you have one mm. and you use it accordingly. And just look, a fan of your work, you're you're using it accordingly and you're empowering so many people. So, uh, mm. yeah, when you pull me aside, it's like we're doing this on location. <laughs> hey, you, you, you go, hey, you go where you're led. And when you're led by good people, it's like, hey, th these are things that happen. But like I said, under the business umbrella, there's the, sh the, the show that you've been a guest on, The Conversation Corner. Mm -hmm. Also do freelance coverage ranging from arts and entertainment, sports, government, and politics. And mm. then as a published author, I've written three books and recorded uh, an audiobook series. There's five audiobooks that I've done. And so I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad to be here. You can tell, right? You can tell I'm really glad to be here. We got the hat game going and everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to talk about the – where did yeah. you get your hat? Well, I got to give a shout to 1820 Lifestyle. Um, they are a black woman-owned company based here in Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. Been in existence a little bit over a year. And actually, the underlying premise is from Matthew 1820, where two or more are gathered. So, like, you know, two or more are gathered. I was a side note for good and positive things. Yeah. But um, shouts to Chris Kinder, the owner, the designer. So they have... I can't wait to, to they, interview her. Yeah, please do. She, yeah. she and her team are awesome. But they have individual lines for men and women. But they'll do custom editions. So this one's one of a kind. So right. it's like that It's like that old school record commercial. No, my brother, you got to get your own. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. I'm definitely like admiring a hat. When I see you on social media, you're posting them. And like, I admire what you're doing. Thank like you. you're not allowing anyone to put you inside a box. You really embody what the art of transition is about. So I want you to touch a bit on like freelance coverage. Like, what is that? Like, you just you spit out there and I'm like, what is freelance coverage? Honestly, the best way to describe freelance coverage, think about stories or narratives that are of interest to you or you feel that people don't always see like we know mm. mainstream media does what it does but there's a lot of times that they won't cover certain things and mm. without going too deep just do research on the makeup of your news editors and that's all you need to know okay so having said all that there might be a story of interest where there's a nonprofit doing some great community work mm -hmm. or um, women who are stepping out on their own, having their own business, or some of, the, or a man who is a story of redemption. They transitioning about of what they used to be to who they are now. Mm -hmm. And for me, um, a lot of it is just being, you know, like the youngest in the family. You know how us younger folks are. We we kind of go all over the place. So I know my coverage range is all over the place. But I do have an interest in, in covering government and politics. So if anything, I learn more about it. Yeah. I do have an interest in covering sports from growing up and playing. And there's so many great backstories of how, whether collegiate athletes or professionals got to where they are. And, and a lot of these people, they get their intelligence questioned, but you have to have 
a level of intelligence and acumen. So I look at it, whether it's through the conversation corner or my own coverage, mm -hmm. let me identify narratives that maybe others aren't covering. And just because others aren't covering, it doesn't make it less important. Right, right. It's like you're telling other people stories that may not get that attention literally anywhere else. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yeah, I mean, you summed it up, but to a degree, that's what you're doing. When you yeah. think about what you're doing with the artist transition and the proverbial story of what was that pivotal moment for that person to go ahead and do something different mm -hmm. or to start that business or take that hobby and develop it in the, you know, instead of it being a painting hobby, now all of a sudden you're getting your paintings bought and sold and all that type of stuff. So yeah. we're, we're doing the same thing. We're going through it through different approaches, but we're both doing the same thing. We know there are great narratives out there that mainstream and other outlets aren't gonna cover, but just exactly. because they won't cover it doesn't make it less significant. And it comes back to what I said in my talk today about people get caught up in the size of their platform size of the platform is important but what's even bigger is knowing you have one and you think about the people you've been able to meet yeah. and the stories you've been able to cover and it's not about the size of your platform it's the quality in which you use it the authenticity and like just speaking to collaboration like we're both speakers here at the festival and y'all i thought i had my tripod base so I had this new equipment, like I got this new gimbal, and then I'm looking through, I had this huge bag, I'm looking through, and I didn't have the base to my gimbal, but guess who had a tripod? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at here, we've we've all been there and, and, and what have you, and I think that's the beauty about today's festival, regardless yeah. if you're a speaker or not, there's so many just good people who are already doing good things, whether they're starting off, or this is my fourth year, people who've done it longer, but people are willing to sit down and talk with you and share and exchange. And like everybody here wants everybody to win. Like yeah. everybody here wants people to do well, to continue to improve. And even with the workshop that I was able to attend, of course, there's one I'm attending tomorrow. I wonder yeah. who's, but in <laughs> all seriousness, like I look at it like people are still sharing their knowledge base and their expertise. And it gives you some things to think about I don't have to do it exactly the way that you do, but in principle, there are some principles that I can borrow mm -hmm. and vice versa. Yeah. And it makes me more effective in casting a wider net and it helps you be more effective in casting a wider net. And and there's a space for, there's a space at the table for everybody. Like yes. I said earlier, for there's, you too. <laughs> there's people that you're gonna be able to reach that I might not be able to reach, but there's people I'm gonna be able to reach that you're not. But the more of us that are out there, the more of these great stories of impact people pivoting into business or entrepreneurship or mm -hmm. pursuing their passion or like I always think about one of the young men that I actually tutored for his ACT that's a rising senior at Howard University mm. but people don't realize Howard University is the only HBCU that has a division one swim program Ooh. and he was a top 10 swimmer in the state of Georgia mm -hmm. so now here's an African-American male doing well in a sport that doesn't always get a lot of shine and a lot of attention. Now I've said, hey, maybe I could actually pursue swimming. Right. And maybe I could look at a Howard or a Hampton or an HBC as a viable option. So even though I didn't go to one, yeah. it doesn't make it doesn't make, you know, their impact less significant. It's probably even more significant. Like I'll tell anybody. You just gave me chills. Y'all y'all see that? <laughs> like, but like you for gave real, me chills. like on that tangent, you think about it. A key reason why African Americans are attending PWIs is because the advocacy of people in civil rights. And look at most of those people in civil rights. They were HBCU products. Mm, I'm and, an HBCU product. Yeah, yeah. So, so if anything, and I'll say this, those are just the Winston predominantly white institutions. We owe a lot to our HBCU peers. Mm. And if anything, you you understand the importance and significance and like i'll tell anybody advocacy has to come in different spaces and places yeah for like earth term you need people on the other side of the tracks to break down those pathways on the other side of the tracks yeah. but you also need people you need people all over yeah just, everywhere just like we we're talking about you know in my talk earlier whether it's sports related or what have you just because you see people on television when you actually go cover it is night and day what you see on television is not reality in regards to people in who are covering college football 
or covering college basketball yeah. or baseball or hockey or whatever. So we're needed in these spaces and places so we can do a better job of telling narratives that are not properly told. Mm -hmm. And that comes back to what you're doing. People need to know there are some blood, sweat, and tears. There are some long nights. There are some, like Big Critz <laughs> talked about, in his song, I gotta look it up real quick. Give me a moment if I can find it. Yeah, and, and music as a whole, like oh, I even... left my phone over there, but Big Crit, The Price of Fame, and he's talking about sometimes you are operating in a space of solitude. Yeah, you will yeah. at yeah. times. Yeah, but even in those spaces and places, great things can happen. Yeah, look at me, I'm sitting next to a great person right here, happy to be here. Yeah. I'm where I'm supposed to be every time. We're going to be where we're supposed to be because we're working, we're being intentional about how we're spending our time. This is Memorial Day weekend. We could be at the park, not to say we're not going to go and do that later, but we're being very intentional about where we're spending our time and about the connections yes, that we are making. And and even to music, to your same topic, uh, Kendrick, what Kendrick Lamar oh, is doing right now and just bringing that stuff to the forefront about like what we go through as creatives and he's like i'm going through it like i grieve different mm -hmm. it's not all smiles and sunshine i know i, I got this yellow on and i look oh, yeah, like sunshine bright. i need to get my glasses man it's shining right here it's shining right here if you ain't ready for it <laughs> listen you gotta you gotta get ready if you're not ready you gotta get ready and a part of getting ready for you know podcasting creating or doing anything else is all about collaborating, oh, gosh, meeting yes. like-minded people. Find somebody who's doing what you're doing already. You've been doing this for a very long time. You've been out here in the media. So I watch you, you know, I tune into your lives. It's like, when you can't support somebody, at least you can hit that button. I tell you what, like collaboration is so important. And, and just what we're doing now, like for anyone that has a podcast, or, or some type of platform where you're interviewing people. Yeah. The same people who come on your show, you go on theirs. Mm -hmm. Like, you, if anything, even now, I'm getting a feel for what it feels like to be interviewed. That's going to help <laughs> me be a better interviewer. Yeah, like even for sure. simple things like that. And um, I just think about, like, some of the interviews I've been able to get. Sam Crenshaw comes to mind, a veteran sports journalist. He's been a guest on my show, but guess what? He had me on his morning radio show. Nice. Like, you know, and yeah. I just happened to look up and I saw the bright light that's here in the art of transition. <laughs> I said to myself, self, I'm going to reach out to her. And lo and behold, she's like, I'm going to make time for this joker. See what he really talking about. Of course. But, but, of course. Um, but no, it, it helps, like you said, like-minded people where you want the other person to have positive takeaways. You want them to continue to, you know, maybe expand the topics or every once in a while, you know, you change up, you know, and even when you're being interviewed, that helps you to be a better interviewer. Yeah. And like they say, iron sharpens iron and nobody's here to be dull. So, I mean, and I'm on just that, that, like, listen, y'all know the podcast episodes can, they can range from. See? See, on just, that note, we got, we, got, we, got, we, got, we, got, we got superstars in the building just coming up and coming in. Yeah, and it's like that. But see, yeah, he, he knew this, there was some type of shine coming on in this room, and he made sure, look, we, yeah. I'm the only one in here. Let me absorb this as much as I can. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so, on that note, make sure you make a list of five people that you would like to collaborate with in this upcoming season. You know, summer's almost here. So, Guess what? It's time for you to get to work. This guy right here, he's on the list. Guess what? This podcast episode is done. Before we leave, tell the people how they can find you. Sure. The best way is to stay connected with me on Facebook. If you add the page author Andrew Snorton, mm -hmm. A-U-T-H-O-R-A-N-D-R-E-W-S-N-O-R-T-O-N. Mm -hmm. On Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube, add me at author A. Snorton. And it's course when you add me on instagram mm -hmm. if you click on the link in the bio it'll have uh my press and media kit it'll have the different interviews so of course we're going to have Ooh. a link to this one let me so tell that you. way it's not only people finding out about me but also finding out about the great outlets who think enough of you to be like hey we want to talk with you listen y'all if you need an example of an amazing press and media kit go look at his press and media kit 
Okay. That's, yeah, thanks. That's part of the work that I do. So, yeah, that's that's no problem. Go look at his press. <laughs> I mean, when I looked at it, I was like, oh, I got to step my game up. <laughs> <laughs> I knew people like you going to be looking. Look at here. This, this, you you got to, like they say, come correct or don't come at all. And, and yeah. um, you know, it's, with a couple of sessions, my I's have been dotted and my T's have been crossed. Look, I want to get invited back, y'all. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for being on the Art of Transition podcast. It has been an extreme pleasure. I'm still learning from you. I look forward to your growth because I know when you grow, I'm going to keep growing and vice versa. I tell you what, thank you so much. And to your amazing audience, please continue to support this awesome uh, this awesome podcast, this awesome show. Thank Come on, you. this gen this is genuine energy, y'all. This ain't sure. no script. This is genuine energy in someone who really is passionate about what she does, but shows a compassion for the human condition. And sometimes people don't always get that. So mm. please make sure to stay connected. And thank you all for, for supporting.